Nixon? Binary seems to be a fundamental part of computers. Can it solve problems as well? What a unique question, Cody. Apart from showing text, pictures, and sounds, computer can use binary to think as well. By using the on and off states in transistors, computers set rules by using logic operators, which are based on binary-like situations, similar to true or false questions. Logic operators make decisions based on the input. The output of these operators are either true, one, or false, zero. There are three basic types of operators, and, or, and not. Let's go through them one by one. First, the and operator. Only when the two inputs are true, the output will be true. If either of the inputs is false, the output will be false. So, if we want to find something that is orange and chipmunk, your computer will only show you things that meet both of these conditions, like me. But if it's only orange, but not chipmunk, we will not find me. Second, we have the OR operator. Most of the time, the output is true, unless both of the inputs are false. If we search for something orange or chipmunk, we will still be able to find me because I am orange or I'm a chipmunk. However, you will also find objects that are just orange, like oranges, or things that are just chipmunks, like my other chipmunk friends. Last, we have the NOT operator. NOT is special because you only need one input, which is what you don't want to see. If the input is true, the output is false. If the input is false, the output is true. If we search for something NOT a chipmunk, you will not be able to find me or anything that is a chipmunk. If you want us to find me, you would have to use a word that does not describe me. Like boring! <laughs> Here is a fun fact. We call these three logics and, or, and not Boolean logic. The word Boolean is named after Josh Bull, who first created the system in the mid 19th century. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.